The biggest misconception about opera is that it's only geared towards elitist audiences. Anybody can really enjoy an opera if they choose to. My mission today is to introduce opera to those who normally don't like opera. Opera is about rich and poor people. It's about brown and black people. It's about yellow and white people. I hope you'll learn a little something today and you'll go away from here loving opera, okay? Because this is opera as Dean Dixon almost had it right. It's not a sister's point of view. It's a sister's point of view. All right, you got the lean back on it. I think that it's really cool that she's going and telling people that you don't have to be rich to do opera. You can be anyone to do opera. I think that it was really amazing that she could sing opera like that because I have never heard opera in that tone and pitch before. The next aria I would like to sing for you is from Tosca. And the heroine's name is Florida. Tosca. And she told us what like was happening in the opera. It's really cool to see how the characters act out the scenes. And I'll be singing the lullaby. It takes nothing to understand the story. And hopefully you'll enjoy the beautiful sounds coming off the stage and immersed into a fantasy world. Opera from a sister's point of view is what we're talking about in our What Matters segment. Opera sensation Angela Brown has commanded standing ovations on the world's most famous stages. And now she's on a mission to share her love of opera with everyone. She travels to churches, schools, and nursing homes to perform her one-woman show, Opera from a Sister's Point of View. I talked with the soprano about her career, including the night her star was born. Check it out. What was the breakthrough moment for you in your career? Oh, I would say that happened in 2004 when I did my Metropolitan Opera debut as Aida. Even now, I'm still trying to absorb what happens. One moment, I was standing outside looking at the marquee, and this little couple comes up, and they see my name, and they go, Angela Brown? Who the hell is Angela Brown? And then the next day, I sang. Front page of the New York Times, they knew who the hell Angela Brown was then. So, <laughs> can I say hell on CNN? You just did. <laughs> Three times. Yes, you did. <laughs> for so many people, they're going to get to know you for the first time, thanks to our time together. And yet, you are one of the leading female voices in opera right now. So, where did you come from? Well, I always say that opera chose me. I didn't choose it because I never wanted to be that screechy soprano. But it wasn't until I went to Oakwood College in Huntsville, Alabama and studied with Ginger Beasley that I found out that I had this voice in me and that the technique just came to me so easily. Little did he know that Scarpia, who is the policeman in town. Talk to us about your work to make sure that opera becomes more accessible to more people. Well, what you're speaking of is my baby called Opera from a Sister's Point of View. Basically, it's just a concert that I do that demystifies opera for audiences that normally wouldn't go and see opera. It's a concert that can be geared to, towards any audience, but when I'm talking with the children, that's what I really like because they want to know, you know, they, they, they were just like me. I was in their seats one day and I was saying, you know, I can't understand this yes. music. I don't like it. You know, she looks funny. She's loud. A lot of them sit there and put, put their hands in their ears when I start singing high. And, but it wasn't until I was exposed to it and certain things were broken down for me that I really began to, un to get a, an appreciation for opera. So that's all opera from a sister's point of view is. Miss Angela, give me, give me a little something, something. Little okay, something. I got to give you a little something. Let me feel a little something.
Now that was my arrangement, but you know. So. Wow. Wow. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Now I understand you want a little voice lesson, a little something, something. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. You okay? <laughs> well, I'm can, good. can you sing, Tony? Of course I can sing. Let me hear you a little do something. <laughs> what you want? What you want? <laughs> Whatever you do, boo boo. In the uh, shower, at, at church. Say pretty, hey. Hold on, hold on. Let me start again. <clears throat> mm -hmm. With the high heels on. Okay, we got to get Marie yeah. Claire what, here. For what's that. wrong? Yeah, yeah, no, that was good. No. That was tight. Um, okay, thank you, CNN. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you.